What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna look at maps in Dart. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at maps. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books, one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at maps and darts. And maps are a key value pair. So if you're coming from Python, a map is a dictionary, right? Same exact process. And they're very easy to create and use in Dart, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So, so let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Dart playlist with all the other Dart videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic Dart starter code. I'm calling this maps.dart. And these are the things we're gonna look at in this video, how to create a map, how to show the values, the keys, get the length, how to add something, how to add many things, how to remove something, and how to remove everything. So to create a map in Dart, we just use the var keyword and then just name it. I'm gonna call this toppings. So we're gonna create a map with pizza toppings. So everybody's favorite pizza topping, right? So we start out with John. John is the key. Remember, these are key value pairs. They're two things, they're paired together. So we separate them by colons. So John's favorite pizza is, let's say, pepperoni. So that's one item in our map, right? The next one, let's say Mary. And let's say Mary likes cheese pizza. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So now we can print our toppings if we like. That will print the entire map, or we can pull out a specific item from our map. So we can print toppings, and then we use the square brackets, and then just pass in the key that you wanna print out. So if we wanna see what John's favorite pizza is, we just pass in John. So let's go ahead and save this, head over to our terminal in my C Dart stuff directory, and let's just run Dart, maps.dart, and you can see, first time we print out the entire map, we get the squiggly brackets and all. Here we just print out John's favorite pizza. You can see John likes pepperoni. Sure enough, John likes pepperoni. So super easy to do, and that's kind of all there is to it. Now, we can also see the values. The first things are the keys. The second things are the values. So pepperoni and cheese, those are our values. If we want to print out just those values, we can go toppings.values. Pretty simple. Go ahead and save this. Head back over here and run it. You can see it prints out pepperoni and cheese. We can do the same thing with our keys. We can print out toppings.keys. And this is gonna print out, you know, John and Mary. If we go ahead and save this, run this guy again, sure enough, John and Mary. If we're curious how many items, how many things are in our map, we could always just print out toppings.length, which is very useful. Save this, run it again. We see there's two items two key value pairs, one, two. All right, that makes sense, pretty simple. So let's say we wanna add something. So we've got our toppings, and let's say we wanna add Tim, right? So what does Tim like? I don't know, Tim likes sausage. So then if we print out toppings, make sure that was added, head back over here, clear the screen, run this again. We could see originally here's our map, then we added Tim, and now here's our map, Tim has been added. Pretty simple. We can add many things and we use this. And to do this, we use the toppings.addAll function. And inside of here, we pass curly brackets. And then basically we just create another map in this function and it will add it to our old map. So if we have, for instance, Tina, maybe Tina likes bacon on her pizza. And let's say maybe we have Steve and Steve likes Supreme pizza. I don't know, whatever. Now we can print our toppings to see if all of those things got added. Head back over here, run this again, and we can see, oh man, it's getting big. So we did have John, Mary, and Tim, and we added Tina and Steve, so that's cool. If we want to remove something, we can do that using the remove function. So let's just go toppings.remove, and let's say we wanna get rid of Steve, we just pass in Steve with quotation marks, and we can print our toppings just to make sure Steve was removed. Back over here, run this guy again. So here we see Steve, then we removed him, printed it out again, no more Steve. So that's pretty cool. Finally, we can remove everything. So let's just go toppings.clear, and that's just a function. And now if we wanna print our toppings, we could see, hopefully this will remove everything. Back over here, run this guy again. We see we just get an empty little brackety thing there because everything's been removed. So those are maps in Dart, key value pairs, very easy to use, super useful. You're gonna use those for absolutely everything. They're a cornerstone of all programming. 
All programming languages have maps or dictionaries or hashes, sometimes they're called. Key value pairs, whatever you call them, they all act the same way. And that's how you do it in Dart. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.